Your 12 volt deep cell battery. Mm -hmm. This battery charges when you're hooked up to outside power and also while you're hooked to your tow vehicle because it's charging all the time. Need to be checked on the water and it should it need water, they recommend put distilled water. Yep. You check it like once, once a month or so? Depends on the use. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I mean, as you start checking, I would start checking it frequently mm -hmm. and you know, as you check it, you know, you can sort of judge and spread out more. That makes sense. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Right here. Uh, this glass right on the back here, mm -hmm. right now, yeah, it's clear. Uh, that's your sight glass. This is your selector switch, which is pointing to this tank here. Mm -hmm. By that glass being clear, that's telling me that this tank has gas in it. It's not telling me it's full. It just said it has gas in it. Gotcha. But both tanks are full, by the way. Okay. So if you went and used your facilities the way this is set up now, you'd use this tank up first when this tank gets empty it'll automatically switch over to this tank as long as you have both valves turned on. Okay, okay. At such time it switches, this little glass here is gonna turn red. Okay. So anytime you look in there and see red there, uh, that's letting you know that whatever tank your selector switch is pointing to is empty. empty okay. So at such time you see that, then you wanna manually switch it over to your other tank, even though it's already have switched and drawn off the uh -huh. other tank, but when you manually switch it, your glass clears up because your other tank still has gas mm -hmm. in it. And uh, also by manually switching it, that enables you to take your empty tank loose and go get it filled. Gotcha. Any questions? Uh, what happens if you have one tank, like let's say you're filling up the other one and it's only one's hooked up and the, the one that's hooked up goes dead? Well, that, that allows you to, or, and it goes what? And, and, and it becomes empty before you hook the second one up and it, it normally auto switches, you said? So well, it's, it's it, would a, just, it would just stop. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, okay. Yep. And I'm move around this way here. This crank here is for your stabilizer jacks, where you got stabilizer jacks on all four corners. Your stabilizer jacks are just what they say, stabilizer jacks. Mm -hmm. They're not the level with you level front to back with your big jack on the front. If you have to level side to side, you use boards or your little plastic blocks to pull your tires up on. Once you get level that way, then you just crank these down firm that keeps the motion out the unit while you're walking around it. Gotcha. Any questions on that? Yeah. Okay. Right here, uh, okay, you got two sets of keys. You got two doors, so your doors are key separate. So this particular key I just pulled out of here works this door. This key here works your back door. And this little silver key here is what's gonna lock any outside compartment you have. Now, this key here is a 751 key. Anybody has an RV has a 751 key. So if you put something in here you want to secure, I advise you change the lock. <laughs> All right. Uh -huh. mm, let's see what's happening here. Probably somebody to push this while it was locked. Any questions there? No. Okay, when you turn this sideways here, it locks a handle lock. Mm -hmm. Same key works the bottom lock, which puts your deadbolt lock on. You always want to put your deadbolt lock on all the time because every dealership has a master key that fits that. Even though this key fits both locks, the master key only fits that top lock. Right. So to be safe, always put that deadbolt Makes lock sense. on. Okay. Any questions there? Yep. Okay, screen door comes loose. Closes, that slides, keep the bugs out. Uh, so, you can put it in. This is the door to the bedroom. It has two doors. Thank you.
questions there what is this little piece right here just to hold it to slide oh, okay. it. gotcha so, so grab your handle it put it in like that that's the way that rides any questions on that no doesn't need, no to, need, to, doesn't lock need it. to be locked in place no that's locked there so right. I'm gonna tell you, you make a move and make them jump out i don't want to be around <laughs> okay get out of here and once you turn your water on hot cold uh, you got a little valve here that uh, if you're cutting your water on and off, you can cut it on and off and maintain your temperature by cutting it off Perfect. with that valve. It's not so much for the outside, but inside is the main thing. Yeah. All right. Any questions there? heat on this area here is going to be hot. Okay. This is the back of your refrigerator condensation hose here and uh, this is where you plugged in the 110 here. You took these three screws out of here, out here and removed this panel right at the bottom. What did that do? What did that do? The rod will get cor all corroded and everything and you have to replace that every so often you know and it's about that size now. But, you know, you don't have to replace it until it gets down around that size there, you know. Okay, it's going to look terrible, but it's still working. Okay. okay. About how often does that take? Well, it's hard to say because you got different waters and stuff, you know, and it depends yeah, on where you water, go. Real bad water, it's yeah. going to go faster. Yeah. Gotcha. Any questions here? Yeah. Is it drip? I'm sorry, stupid question. Why is it dripping now? Because he just, I just opened it up. Uh, okay. And that's pressure on it. If there was no pressure sure. on this, you would nothing would have came out of there. So okay. what is cause? What's the pressure from? Is it because it's a tank? Well, or? no. Well, pressure the water pump's been on. Oh, okay, gotcha. So that's I mean, you know, yeah. when you're not hooked to city water and your water pump's on, you got you put pressure on your system. Right. All right. Gotcha. Any questions? Okay, uh, give you one set of keys here, and basically this door works the same way. It turns sideways, locks that handle lock, and same key. I'm just showing you so you see it works. Works the bottom lock there, all right. And uh, door works the same way. This slides the same as what I told you down there. Steps is the same as that down there. Now you got a cyst handle here, and with this cyst handle, when you're traveling, you've been taking travel with it that way or either in front of the door your option okay any questions there yeah. all right uh, okay right here got rubber caps on each end of your bumper and uh, that's where they recommend store your sewer hose which would normally be from that side there because this is where your valves and stuff are going to be all right this is your spare tire here where you have a cover on it I recommend you want to keep this tire covered. You want to tire, cover the tires that's on the ground also. Whether you use a custom tire, uh, custom tire cover, or you don't do nothing for the tarp, or plywood, something up on it. What you want to do is keep the sun ray from taking baking that sidewall. If you don't have these covered, the sun will bake that sidewall. You can have beautiful trade your tire be shot. So however you do it, you know, just uh, keep the sun off. That's the biggest, that's the biggest uh, breakdown on tires. On tires. Because okay. I'm going to tell you, I've never seen an RV with tires worn out from trade. Really? Yeah. And I've been here 21 years. So. There you go. I take your word on it. Okay. Because okay, this is your prior cord here. Just pull this out as you need it. Stuff it back up in there. Uh, as you need it pulled all the way out, you should have at least 25 foot of cord. This is a 110, 30 amp cord. Any questions there? Yep. All right. Right here, this is if you go to a campsite that has cable TV, this is where you'd hook your coax up right there. I recommend carrying at least a 25 foot piece of coax with you when you travel. All right.
with a coax cable. Amazing. Here's the slide out. Water valve on this side is your black water valve. Mm -hmm. uh, black water being all your sewage, gray water is your used water. And they're just gate valves. All you do is just pull them out when you go to dump. Yeah. And uh, you always want to dump your black water first, then your gray. That's going to rinse your hose down. Now you got to put chemical in your black water tank. You put chemical in right mm -hmm. down through the toilet through inside. The toilet. Yep. Watch your back. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. That chemical helps dissolve the solids, also keeps your unit deodorized. Right. So you got to put chemical in before you use your facilities. Uh, if you go to a campsite and you hook up to their sewer, don't open your valve up. You're going to operate just like you're not hooked up. Because <coughs> if you open your valve up, you lost the chemical you put in. Then nine times out of ten, when you flush the toilet, your liquid's going to run off while your solids are going to hit that flat you. bottom. Stay, start accumulating can events and stop your unit up by leaving your valve closed, your chemical study working, so when you do dump, everything should be just about liquefied. So you hook up, keep the valve closed, and then when you're about to leave, you pop it, dump it like yeah. normal. Yeah, well, you got a monitor you're... inside anyway to tell you how much is in your tank. Okay. Okay? <clears throat> Some people will tell you, you can leave your gray water tank open. I never did because I always wanted to make sure I had water to run behind my black of course, water. Yeah, okay, sense, so I yeah. always dump mine together. Yeah, but yeah. it's your option. Okay. Okay. Right here, this is where you hook up the city water. Just take a hose, a hose. It's going to be a white hose uh, that you need to get. Mm -hmm. As they say, you don't get the taste of uh, rubber in a white hose. Okay. Uh, and hook that up from the spigot, hook it up there, turn your water on. That gives you water direct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right here is where you would put water in your fresh water tank here. Let's take that cap off there. Now, talking about filling, the only reason I know you'd want to fill this is if you're going somewhere dry camping where you don't have a water hookup. Other than that, you just put enough water in here to get you from point A to point B simply mm -hmm. because water's weight's going to make you burn more fuel. Yep. Eight and, pounds a gallon. Any, yeah, <laughs> any questions on that part? Nope. Okay, you look right back under here, see that valve? Yep. That's where you drain your fresh water tank. Okay. Any questions there? Well, well it's just for winterizing is the only reason you really need to drain your fresh water tank. Yeah. Typically, yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know. I, you know, if uh, you uh, go out in the summer mm -hmm. and you come back in, you ain't going out for maybe four to five days or something. I always say drain it yeah, because uh, yeah, you know, water stagnates quick. Definitely. Okay. Any questions there? I think we're mm -hmm. All right. Okay, you can go inside. Okay. Right, I'm going to start right here. Uh, this is your uh, switch for your awning here. Sorry. <laughs> she's, I'm, she's like, a, I'm a fresh, I'm a filmmaker wannabe. No problem. I mean, hmm. What's the size of the awning? Do you know? uh, I'm not sure. I'd have yeah. to get a tape. And it just, okay. it just stops once it reaches full no, extension? No, you, you have to stop. Okay. When it's out like that, and normally when that flap is down, it's not down right now. Okay, and this is your awning here. Now, if you want to tilt your awning, all you do is loosen this knob here and grab this and push it on in and just tighten that and that'll hold it at whatever position you have it at. But it has to go back to its original position before you put it up. And it is fully up like that? Huh? Okay. Yeah. 
And these awnings are basically made for shade, not rain. I know you see people lower one side down when it's raining, let the water run off. You know that's your option to do. But what I tell you, I'm going to tell you different. I'm going to tell you if it's raining, you need to put your awning away. If it gets windy, put it away. Don't go to bed at night with it. I'm going to leave the unit with it. I'll move some of this out. You be sitting up under and enjoying it. If you're going to do anything other than that, I recommend putting it away. And if you do what I say, I can guarantee you have on it. You do something else, you're taking the chance. All right. Any questions on this? Okay, well, we can go back in. I just noticed, is this, the door not opening all the way? Is that, what is that? That's that's the hinge on this door. Okay. Oh, It'll okay. open. It's just a oh, tight hinge. hinge. Rather than you have a, a, a strut hooked to this, it's a tight hinge that with, mm -hmm. you know, some trailers do. So you can have the door any way you want. You don't have to have it. Or what you call back there, it's going to hold where oh, wow. you put it. Yeah. Gotcha. That, All right. That's cool. Thank you. I like the little mini blinds. Mm -hmm. Are there any kind of blinds? Oh, there's curtains on this back window, right? There's blinds too. Right. Right here. Oh, right. That's awesome that you have a door from the bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> it's in a hard, it's in a hard, uh, it's got what? Oh, wow, two TVs. So you can use your current TV? Yeah, but because it's not rated for travel, we have to take it down. This one can handle the bumps, but the normal TVs, it'll mess them up. There's no TV really? in the NFL. You pick your best team in the world that you're going to tell me going to get three back to back turnovers. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, that's a fluke. You know, that was luck. It was. It was. So I'm, I'm not happy with that. You know, really, as far as our division, I'm, I'm sort of thinking about the Eagles and Cowboys fighting for the division. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. You know, once you uh, find your place. Uh, Set up in your campsite, you know, you can undo, unstrap them and sit them wherever you want. Okay? Okay, you got scared me because I'm sort of looking myself. No problem, man. Because I had to look that good. Excuse me. Just let's into a bed here. Mm -hmm. I got to see what I got first. Okay. All these things, so many different ways they open. Sure. I'm going to have to start a new file. This is just going to be today. Okay.